This video is not financial advice. I am not a financial planner. I'm an entertainer. The one, the only, a father in the bathroom. Wow! So as you know, I've been positive all day. I mean, I've been up since like four o'clock in the morning. I'm kind of a little tired. I only slept like three or four hours, but I actually wrote a song, okay, called I Can't Wait Until I Wake Up One Day Being a Millionaire. And then I just dedicated a song to the apes, Elton John Sacrifice, because I know you're all sacrificing and you're holding with diamond bulls. In some cases, the, the ladies, we got to say they're holding with diamond hands. But, you know, with all my positivity, you know, uh, and with all my strength and desire to win, it's amazing how quick when I watch Uncle Festa's like latest video, it just turned it into complete and other just negativity. I mean, this guy just sounds so negative. Like, what is he doing at this point? Like Uncle Festa, what are you doing? You're trying to like, like, you know, just get yourself out of a situation that you put yourself in. You know, what are you trying to do? I, I mean, because you know what I was hoping for from a video from Uncle Fester today? I was actually hoping for some positivity. Like, that's what I wanted to hear. I wanted him to be, you know, reassuring. Just like, listen, you know, we got, we got it. <laughs> we got it, all right? It's in the bag, something. I mean, I'm not saying, okay, maybe in the bag is too positive, but maybe something halfway. Like, listen, you know, we're going to see 20%. We're going to see 30% today. It's just like, all right, it doesn't have to be the squeeze, but, but, but something positive. It's like he's just backpedaling. He's just trying to get himself out of this. He's like, look, you know, I speak to people. They tell me things. I tell you things. I Listen, I don't know. He's Now he's making it seem like that, that his sources are not credible. The, his secret connections that is supposed to be the most prestigious, the most respected, like, Wall Street traders in the world. They're not credible sources anymore. He's like, look, I... I speak to people. Who do you speak to, Uncle Festa? Who do you speak to? Squirrels? The ducks? <laughs> who do you speak? Who's these sources that you cannot reveal to us who apparently are not credible? Okay. And then he starts talking about like that now it's like he's kind of making this, you know, he's implying that either Adam, you know, uh, Aaron or I still can't pronounce this guy's name. I, I just call him the A-man. What is it? Is it Aaron? Adam Aaron? Is that how you say it? Correct me, tell me, because I, I need help. I call him the A-man, okay? He's making it seem kind of like now that he's implying that either the government or Adam or someone is like going to mess with the synthetics. Like, that's where he's going. That's in my opinion. That's where I, he's going like in a direction, Uncle Festa now, where, I don't know, like, th does he still believe in the synthetics? Or maybe he believes in a small amount because he don't sound like he believes in billions or trillions of synthetics to me. He don't seem to me. I mean, maybe a hundred million like shares, maybe he believes. Well, we already know about that. We already, know, you know what I mean? Like, like, like a little institutional ownership. So he just sounds very negative. I mean, the guy should just come out and say, I was wrong. That's it. I apologize. I apologized a lot of times when I was wrong. You know I did. Just, you got to sometimes man up. You got to man up and apologize. But let's see what happens. Listen, I'm waiting for the market to open, but I'm just telling you, based on the way he's already speaking and the market isn't open, he don't sound too positive to me. AMC to Pluto.